Doc here with another physics tutorial for Physics 101 Light and Visual Phenomena. We're going to look at a rather tricky part of color schemes and that is how the HSB, U saturation brightness, relates to RGB. And we can only do this for the simplest of cases because the values can very quickly become quite complicated. The HSB model looks at U as an angle and saturation as a richness of color. A value of 100 means you're at the edge. If you have a value of 0, you're at the middle of the trunk, which is either white or it could be a, a level of gray, depending on how bright you are. The particular one we're looking at here is the brightest. So if you were to get your color wheel, and max out all the colors in brightness, your most saturated colors for the computer are on the edges here, farthest away from the center. As we change the brightness, we get darker and darker and go to black. This is using a 10 point scale like artists do, value of 10, value of 0, and value and brightness basically are the same, and the computer will be using 100 for the maximum. To get a feeling for how HSB and RGB are related, this is an excellent extra credit assignment to do. But we're going to look at the applet here and play with it and get some insight as to what's going on. I'm going to start by maxing out my saturation at 100% and 100 for brightness, values of 100, 100, and the hue will make it zero for red. We have our familiar red here, zero degrees hue, 100 saturation, 100 brightness, and we know the RGB value. Red is blasted all the way up to the top, which is FF, and then green and blue are dead, 0, 0, 0, 0. If we go here to uh, yellow, yellow has the greens and the reds, so you're actually seeing the RGB picture here, but you have to remember R is on the far right, long wavelength, G is in the middle, and blue is here, so RGB this way. On the graph, RGB values given here in a conventional way, and these are using HTML code in computers today. If you wanted to get this yellow in a web page, you would use this code. FF max out the red, FF max out the green, and zero, zero, no blue. If I go here to the uh, 120, I'm at green, 00, zero FF, zero, 00. If I go here to 180, I'm at cyan, and that's 00, zero for the red, and FF, FF for the green and the blue. And next is blue, and that's 00, zero, zero, zero FF for the RGB value. And we know our HSB values here because here we have the hue is 240 degrees, the saturation is 100, and when we say B in HSB, the B stands for brightness. Don't be confused with the blue because HSB is the U saturation brightness or U saturation value. If we go here to the 300 degrees, we have the magenta, and if we're at 360, we're back to where we started, we're at red. What we have just done is taken a tour around the color circle. We started with red, we then went to yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. That's what we did. So what happens if we look at bringing in the saturation, uh, I mean junk, bringing in junk, so the saturation is decreased. Let's do that. By decreasing the saturation, you bring in a complementary color, and that is the key to understanding how this works. The complement to red is cyan. So if cyan sneaks in, junk, we are going to wash out the red and get white. Let's go to yellow. The complementary color for yellow is the blue. So if the saturation decreases, we bring in blue, wash out the yellow, and get white. Notice that if you have something like this, 
the computer does not consider this junk because this is an orange. What the computer considers junk is having something in all three parts of the spectrum. Notice this. If I scan here, I never see something in one of the thirds of the spectrum. One of the thirds is always knocked out. And if that's the case, saturation is maxed out. So you know, cool? All right. Only two regions are activated. So here for this orange, since only two regions are activated, this is a saturation of 100. And if I bring in the complement, which would mean to bring in blues and more green, which is what happens here, now I have junk in there. And the saturation is no longer 100. And if I keep doing that, I wash out the orange to get zero. Brightness just proportionally brings down everything so that you get black when you reach zero brightness. So the brightness is not that hard to get an idea of. It's just simply reduce everything. But saturation is a little bit tricky because what it does, it brings in the complement and the complement is considered junk, you know, where you're washing out the color. So here it's nice to kind of note that if you have something halfway up 50, that is an 8 zero because remember between uh, 0 and 15, like 8 is kind of in the middle. So that's kind of nice to remember that 8 zero is roughly, you know, in, in the middle there, 50. And here, if you were, let's say, taking a multiple choice exam and you had something like, uh, like this. If you had a color like a color like this, where you were given the U value, let's make it. Oh, we'll leave it there. It's a little tough question here. The U value is between cyan and blue, so it's a cyanish blue. All right. So since you know you have cyanish blue, you know you have to have some some green in there, but mostly it's going to be blue because this is a cyanish blue it's cyan is blue green and you're here blue so you're going to be favoring the blue uh, since you have saturation here it's not at a hundred percent you're going to have then stuff in the other third of the spectrum in there messing up which is red some reds so when you look at this you would know by given that the hue is uh, two hundred say and uh, 10 here 210 and the saturation is 75 and the brightness size is, is, is uh, 80 85 that you would you would know that there's more blues than greens and reds and if you look up here remember that D is rated high after 9 comes a B C D so D trumps what you see here as a eight and a three, you see. So therefore, D means that blue is winning. Eight means that green is next and this red is least. So you can eliminate choices on a multiple choice exam or have these things say jumbled around where the D is over here on the red. So it's nice to be able to interpret the RGB values and to know which of them are weighted more by reading the hexadecimal code. D trumps 8 and 8 trumps 3. So there's more blue, less green, and less red. Granted, this is a review of more difficult things in our course, but I'm giving you a review tutorial so that when there's a curve, if there is one, you will get more than 100 points. Sign off for now. See you later.